Argo Sports Insider, the only place to get the full scoop on everything Argo Athletics. I'm Will Kennedy, and we have plenty of Argo news to update you on. Volleyball won a 13th straight Gulf South Conference tournament title, knocking off Alabama Huntsville in the championship match in the field house. With the victory, the Argos secured an 18th consecutive berth into the NCAA playoffs as the sixth seed in the South region. UWF will face Tampa December 6th, that's at Lynn University, and the Argos are well represented on the conference yearly awards. Gabby Moulton is the GSC Player of the Year and the Setter of the Year. This is only the second time a player has won both awards. The first time you may ask, it was current UWF assistant coach Taylor Van Eckren back in 2022. Coach Melissa Walter is your GSC Coach of the Year for the ninth time after leading the Argos to a record number of conference wins. Moulton and Jenna Zidlow are on the all-conference first team. Meg Bracken and Emily Brazil made the second team. But, and I told them before we went into the match, you're going to have to match their defense if we want a shot to be able to have that trophy at the end of this. And I thought our defense was outstanding today. Yeah, with that many freshmen and sophomores on the floor in, in any lineup that we would run, their growth was what we were banking on. And they are a totally different team now than they were even just in the third weekend or even who we were a month ago. So, yeah, I think that in combination with the seniors doing such a good job of managing and leading, was outstanding. Women's soccer won the NCAA South Region title on Sunday with a 3-2 victory over Montevallo. Emma Belt scored two goals, including the game winner. Maya Swinton added her 11th goal of the season. I mean, today was filled with a lot of energy. Um, they scored on us first, so we just wanted it really bad. And you could see that energy when we pressed forward and we were communicating and we were clicking, and it was exactly what we needed to win. So. I've been super impressed by, by the grit that this team has. And no one, no one gave up. I know they get frustrated by giving up goals, but we're, we were playing a very good team. And just enjoy this moment uh, to, to be region champs again. Um, we, we've won seven, eight over the last 16 years when only teams have won, only one team has won two in that span. And uh, so the consistency uh, and the grit that we had from these youngsters is truly amazing and, and super proud. Um, and, but we're going to need to be on our game next uh, Sunday to be able to do well against uh, uh, one, of, one of the best programs in the country. The Argos advanced to that regional final with a 2-1 win over Nova Southeastern the previous weekend. The Argos had to come from behind in the second half of that game to get the victory. Emily Dweck Cooperson scored to tie that game and drew a penalty that Kendall Blackman converted for the game winning goal. UWF will travel to Columbus State for an NCAA quarterfinal matchup on Saturday. The Argos are well represented on the All South Region teams as well. Maya Swinton is the South Region Player of the Year. Swinton, Emma Belts, Julieta Lombardo, Anneli Lehman, and Kendall Blackman made the first team. Goalie Makaya Lipsy made the second team. It is the third all-region selection for Makaya in her career. Men's soccer won their first game in the NCAA Regional, beating Flagler 3-1 with goals from Marcus Pereira, Jaime Guillen, and Keegan Anselin. The Argos advanced to play Lynn in the round of 32, but fell short in a 1-0 loss. UWF finishes the season with a 12-3-4 record. Both UWF basketball teams played their home opener last week, hosting Columbus State. The women dropped an 80-66 decision to the Cougars on Tuesday, then lost 83-66 to a tough Georgia Southwestern team on Saturday. The women are now 4-2 on the season. The men played well early against Columbus State, but then ran out of steam late in an 83-66 loss. Then the Argos went double overtime in a rematch with Georgia Southwestern, losing 100-95 in the thriller. The men are now 1-5. Both teams travel to West Alabama on Saturday and then Alabama Huntsville on Monday. The GSC Football Postseason Awards, they're out there and several Argos were honored with two major awards and nine all GSC selections. Defensive lineman Trayvon Mitchell is the co-defensive player of the year. Receiver Corey Scott, the co-offensive freshman of the year. Mitchell and Scott are joined on the all GSC first team by defensive end Colin Shaw, linebacker Ralph Ortiz, cornerback Virgil Lemons III, and the punter, Logan Gregory. Guard Nash Nelson, kick returner Jay Sharp, and utility player Anthony Ballard made the all-conference second team. And that is a look at all that we have going on with UWF Athletics for this week. 
This is our last edition for the fall semester. Be sure to check with GoArgos.com for the latest news and links to all our team schedules and rosters as you track our teams through these championship seasons. You can also download that Argo Armada app on all your devices and follow our teams across social media. We'll see you next semester and remember, Go Argos!